step back to 1957 with Witness for the Prosecution, a classic courtroom drama that's more than meets the eye. This film, directed by Billy Wilder, unfolds a gripping tale of justice, betrayal, and unexpected twists. As you navigate through the plot, keep an eye out for the moments that resonate with you, perhaps a scene that left a lasting impact, or a classic Hollywood actor who became your favorite. But that's not all. Buckle up, because there's a roller coaster of funny, shocking, and sad facts waiting for you. Every revelation adds a layer of intrigue, making it a movie worth every minute of your time. As you watch, ask yourself, which classic Hollywood actor stole the show for you? Is there a particular scene etched in your memory? Now, as we delve into the depths of witness for the prosecution, we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this cinematic gem? Share your stories and memories in the comments below, and let's keep the conversation alive. Get ready for a journey through the twists and turns of this classic and share your thoughts. It's an experience worth sharing. And remember, more twists and turns lie ahead, so keep watching. Your thoughts and memories matter, and we're eager to hear them. Dive into the conversation and share your experience with witness for the prosecution. Let the stories unfold. Witness for the Prosecution, a 1957 cinematic masterpiece directed by Billy Wilder, has left an enduring impact on the realm of legal dramas, cementing its legacy as a classic in the annals of cinema. Adapted from Agatha Christie's play, the movie skillfully weaves a gripping narrative of betrayal, deceit, and courtroom drama that continues to captivate audiences to this day. The film's impact lies in meticulous storytelling with Wilder's direction and the stellar performances of the cast elevating it to iconic status. The intricate plot, filled with twists and turns, keeps viewers on the edge of their seats, showcasing the artistry of suspense that has become synonymous with the name Billy Wilder. The courtroom scenes in particular are masterfully crafted, creating an atmosphere of tension and uncertainty that adds depth to the narrative. One cannot underestimate the lasting legacy of this cinematic gem. Its influence extends beyond its initial release, shaping the landscape of legal thrillers and leaving an indelible mark on the genre. The movie's success paved the way for future courtroom dramas, inspiring filmmakers to explore the complexities of the legal system with the same level of depth and sophistication. What makes the film especially relevant today is its exploration of the human propensity for deception and the intricate workings of the justice system. Themes of betrayal and moral ambiguity resonate with contemporary audiences, making this classic a timeless cinematic experience. Its exploration of the ambiguity of truth and the consequences of manipulation continue to intrigue viewers, ensuring its enduring relevance in the world of cinema. In conclusion, Witness for the Prosecution stands as a testament to the artistry of Billy Wilder and the enduring appeal of well-crafted storytelling. Its impact, legacy, and continued relevance attest to the movie's place in the pantheon of cinematic classics, making it essential viewing for those who appreciate the intricacies of a compelling legal drama. Witness for the Prosecution, a 1957 courtroom drama directed by Billy Wilder, is renowned for its gripping narrative and standout moments that have left an indelible mark on cinematic history. One memorable episode unfolds during the trial when Sir Wilfred Robarts, portrayed by Charles Lawton, relentlessly cross-examines Leonard Vole's German wife, Christine Helm, brilliantly played by Marlene Dietrich. In a tense courtroom atmosphere, Sir Wilfred's astute questioning unravels shocking revelations about Christine's past, casting doubt on her credibility, and introducing an unforeseen twist to the case. Another standout moment occurs when the trial takes an unexpected turn with the introduction of a surprise witness. As the mysterious woman, Romaine, takes the stand, played with captivating intensity by Dietrich, her testimony becomes a pivotal moment in the proceedings. The revelation she provides sends shockwaves through the courtroom, leaving both the characters and the audience in suspenseful disbelief. The climax of the film, set in a dimly lit and atmospheric courtroom, is equally riveting. The final revelation, delivered in a masterful stroke of storytelling, reshapes the entire narrative, leaving the audience on the edge of their seats. The brilliant amalgamation of suspense, drama, and unexpected twists in this climactic moment solidifies witness for the prosecution as a classic in the annals of cinematic history. 
In the closing scenes, the film leaves an enduring impact as the consequences of the trial unfold, leaving the audience to ponder the intricacies of justice and human nature. The narrative threads are expertly woven together, creating a lasting impression that resonates long after the final credits roll. Witness for the Prosecution, directed by Billy Wilder, stands as a testament to the power of storytelling and the mastery of its cast. The unforgettable moments within the film showcase the brilliance of its narrative construction and the enduring appeal of a classic courtroom drama. Marlene Dietrich underwent plastic surgery, donning heavy makeup and a wig for the film. At previews, audience members signed cards pledging secrecy about the ending. Dietrich and director Billy Wilder shared a mutual admiration, with Dietrich praising Wilder as the kindest man she knew. Wilder, in turn, considered her the ideal woman. Dietrich approached her role with determination, as if her career depended on it. The on-screen chemistry between Dietrich and Wilder translated into a successful collaboration, adding a unique dimension to witness for the prosecution. Marlene Dietrich, acclaimed for her role in the film, acknowledged Billy Wilder as one of her top three directors alongside Joseph von Sternberg and Orson Welles. The bond between Dietrich and Wilder, evident in their on-screen chemistry, contributed significantly to the success of the collaboration on Witness for the Prosecution. Elsa Lanchester, shedding light on Dietrich's methods, revealed the actress's use of tape lifts to maintain a tight facial appearance. These lifts, strategically placed and intricately woven into her hair, constrained Dietrich's facial expressions during the film, a detail observable in her restrained movements. Agatha Christie, upon the movie's release, declared it as the only adaptation of her work that she appreciated. Notably, after the filming of Murder on the Orient Express in 1974, she extended her approval to that adaptation as well. In a rare expression of admiration, Dietrich and Wilder's collaboration, coupled with the film's unique elements, left an impression on figures such as Agatha Christie. The discreet unveiling of Dietrich's cosmetic methods adds a layer of intrigue to her performance in Witness for the Prosecution. In a pivotal scene of the film, Leonard Vole, portrayed by Tyrone Power, engages Mrs. French in a movie theater, revealing that the featured film centers around Jesse James, a character Power had previously played in a 1939 production. This subtle nod to Power's past roles adds an intriguing layer to witness for the prosecution. Director and co-screenwriter Billy Wilder stayed true to Agatha Christie's play while infusing his own touch. Departing from the play's courtroom-centric focus, Wilder expanded the narrative, highlighting scenes beyond the legal setting. Shifting the emphasis from Leonard Vole to Sir Wilfred Robarts, Wilder introduced new characters like Miss Plimsoll and altered details such as the name of Vole's wife, now Christine. These changes bring a fresh perspective to the familiar story. Betty Davis, in her autobiography, The Lonely Life, revealed an interesting connection. She suggested that Agatha Christie fashioned Sir Wilfred Roberts after a real-life attorney who represented Warner Bros. during Davis's contract dispute in 1936. This behind-the-scenes influence adds an unexpected dimension to the character of Sir Wilfred in Witness for the Prosecution. In conclusion, the film skillfully weaves together these subtle nods to the past, directorial choices, and behind-the-scenes inspirations, creating a unique rendition of Agatha Christie's play. Witness for the Prosecution stands as a testament to the collaborative efforts of its cast and crew, offering audiences a fresh perspective on a classic narrative. Harry Kernitz, in a candid assessment of his collaboration with Billy Wilder, described the director as a dual persona, referring to him as actually two people Mr. Hyde and Mr. Hyde. This insight into Wilder's working style adds a layer of complexity to the behind-the-scenes dynamics of the film. Contrary to the common belief that Agatha Christie named the character Vol after the rodent, the word holds various meanings relevant to Leonard Vol's character. In card games, vol signifies winning all tricks, while the expression go the vol aligns with risking everything for potential rewards or trying various occupations sequentially. Notably, vol also corresponds to the French verb voler, meaning both to steal and to fly, fittingly encapsulating Christie's ingeniously named character. The meticulously recreated courtroom setting, with a construction cost of 75000 mirrors an authentic courtroom at London's Central Criminal Courts, the Old Bailey. This attention to detail provides an authentic backdrop for the legal proceedings in the film. 
In summary, insights into Billy Wilder's collaborative approach, Agatha Christie's clever wordplay in character naming, and the substantial investment in recreating the courtroom setting contribute to the intricate layers of witness for the prosecution, offering audiences a unique cinematic experience. Marlene Dietrich, confident in her acclaimed performance as Christine Vole, anticipated an Academy Award nomination to the extent that she preemptively recorded an introduction for her Las Vegas show, mentioning her expected nomination. However, her disappointment was palpable when the nomination did not materialize. In a distinctive touch, the film's comic scenes between Charles Lawton and Elsa Lanchester were not part of the original play, but were added by the screenwriters. This inclusion became a recurring element, persisting in the 1982 adaptation of Witness for the Prosecution, where the filmmakers closely follow with the 1957 rendition. Adding an intriguing layer to the production, the cast members, including the principal ones, remained unaware of the film's ending until the final day of shooting. The last 10 pages of the script were revealed to them then, a practice noted in the press book, reviews, and various articles about the film's production. Marlene Dietrich's expectation for recognition, the unique addition of comic scenes, and the secretive handling of the film's ending contribute to the distinctive aspects of witness for the prosecution, offering audiences an insight into the dynamics of its creation.